All right, good Tuesday morning, everyone. Jim Kramer is here to help you navigate earnings season. All right, Jim, let's do an earnings lightning round. Sure. We'll start off with McDonald's. Okay, McDonald's better than expected. A lot of this was because 6% uh, global comp is really rather extraordinary. 4% domestic comp, very good. The stock has run in anticipation. Don't expect a gigantic run next time but, uh, in the, over the next few days, but I would say that Steve Easterbrook has reinvented that company. Uh, M Science came out with a report, a boutique firm that said it was going to be a bad domestic miss. That caused the stock to have a hiccup down to the 150s, the big short squeeze. Uh, that's pretty much what's driving the stock right now. Uh, stay long. All right, how about Caterpillar? Uh, Caterpillar, remarkable. They uh, downsized at the correct moment. Uh, you get tremendous leverage when you have far fewer people. You pair back to your workforce, and the numbers come up, and the dollar gets weak. This is exactly Cat's time. I've never seen Cat this good. Uh, stay long. United Technologies. United Technologies uh, had a uh, problem in China. Uh, China was weaker across the board. Surprising, because North America was very good. Europe was extraordinarily strong. You're in there for Rockwell Collins. Let the stock come in, buy it. All right, another Dow component, 3M. 3M is just a beautiful quarter. There's really nothing to say. Uh, Ingrid Tulin delivered fantastic organic growth on every single business. Uh, 3M is a core position for many managers. It will remain such. All right, Eli Lilly and Action Alerts Plus. Uh, Eli Lilly uh, trading down here after trading up. Uh, we did trim some yesterday. Uh, I thought it was a good quarter. Uh, you're going to give you the animal health business. Uh, people don't want the healthcare stocks, J and J down today. They want the industrial scissors. It's being hit by rotation, not by the numbers. Uh, how about General Motors? Uh, General Motors is absolutely terrific, and they're giving a very good uh, look uh, going forward about what's happening with uh, with automatic car, you know, with the car self driving. Uh, this is the first quarter for GM since the fourth quarter of 2014, where every single area is up, uh, helped by the fact that they sold Europe. Incredible. All right. Meanwhile, Jim Sears will stop selling Whirlpool appliances. What yeah, was Sears is just a, you know reason. One of the reasons why Home Depot continues to do well is is because of Sears. Uh, uh, Sears is a, a huge mess. And uh, by the way, Stanley uh, Black and Decker is going to start selling Craftsman next year. That's why you've got another whole leg of Stanley uh, because of Sears. Um, Sears uh, knocked the stock down, uh, Home Depot down when they announced that deal. Well, that was silly. Um, Sears is more of a Stanley Black and Deller, uh, Decker, I think uh, tool revenue was up 9% or yeah, something? Yeah, rather extraordinary numbers. Uh, I've never seen uh, it, it that good. Uh, this is another one like 3M, like uh, like Caterpillar. I've just you know, never seen this good. Now, uh, obviously, this benefited from uh, storm damage, but it's also overseas. Emerging markets were strong. Hmm. All right, Jim, obviously, Ar Arconic has a new CEO, but Morgan Stanley has a note about that sell-off yesterday. Yeah, I mean, look, the sell-off was overdone because I think there were people who felt that if there was no CEO, perhaps the company would be uh, sold there were, or, or no CEO, then perhaps uh, there was going to be some sort of split up of the company. Uh, they got this guy blanket ship. They, he's an aerospace guy. It's going to be an aerospace company. I think that ultimately they will spin off the rest of the business uh, and, and make it so that you get a really terrific piece of paper uh, by Arconic. All right, and Jim, you alluded to this earlier, but this sort of rotation out of FANG and into maybe financials. Yeah, yes, I mean, JP Morgan through 100, City continues to go higher. This is uh, reflation trade, as some people call it. I, mm -hmm. I prefer just to say it's a rotation out of um, the companies that do well in a downshift in the economy into the companies that do well in a, in a uh, an uptick. And FANG does not do, the, the stocks that are in FANG don't do as well in an uptick, but they'll come down and they'll be fine. Doug Cass, a uh, major short every day on this, please go read him. Uh, Real Money Pro, he's got a lot to say. All right, Jim, we're still following earnings because there's a lot more names coming tomorrow. Boeing, what are you expecting there? You know, there's a note today about Boeing. Uh, Credit Suisse saying it's going to be absolutely excellent. Uh, uh, aerospace is the strongest single sector uh, out there right now. And, and I think that I would let Boeing come in. I don't think they're... Boeing's the most up in the Dow. Uh, Boeing could be like Cat. It could be great, but I, I just can't chase it at this point. That's just not my style. I, you know, I, I prefer like a 3M where the stock was doing nothing and then it rallies. Uh, Inga Tulin uh, at 3M is probably the least celebrated of the major CEOs, and it's a mistake. Uh, he delivers and he delivers, he delivers, and every single one of his units was up. A lot of it's great organic growth. He's just not, uh, his praises aren't sung enough. 3M, really remarkable. All right, Jim, you talked about the financial sector earlier. What are you expecting from Visa's earnings? I think Visa's going to be a blowout. I think that Kelly's doing a fantastic job. Uh, I, look, I always hope that Visa comes down so you can buy it. It never comes in. It never comes in because the sector, the growth of uh, paper into plastic remains one of the great, uh, really one of the great trends. One of the things I'm probably going to talk about this weekend at our conference are the uh, great secular trends of our time and how you can still get behind them even with the stocks up because I know a lot of people are saying, listen, Jim, I missed this, I missed that, I missed this. You, you, don't, you will not have missed the stocks I talk about. 
Uh, and it's not like I'm going to come in and start saying, listen, you got to buy Whirlpool down or Sherwin Williams when it was down or Illinois Tool Works, which I like very much, which was down. Uh, I, I'm going to come up with, with I, I think, a series of fresh situations, but I'm really going to be focused on secular themes and then stocks that apply to the themes so that uh, if we do get that sell off, uh, particularly between now and your end, you'll be able to use a, a deep in the money option strategy to be able to do well. This is a perfect time for people to sort of take this another step further and come to your Saturday event. Yeah, I mean, I think you should. I mean, you know, I'm, I, I'm not giving away a Saturday because I have nothing to say. Uh, and I think that uh, a lot of time to be able to uh, do your Instagram, Facebook, you know, pictures with me. I know people like that, so it's fine. We say hello. Uh, but it's an idea generator, and some of the people who are coming are really extraordinary. It's going to be a remarkable teaching, and I really think that I really want to see you there. Uh, make your reservation. Um, I, I don't know whether there's going to be many more days that you can make a reservation and still get in because I think we're pretty much sold out. Yeah. Click the link below for more information. All right, Jim, we have to settle something. Did you sleep last night? Um, I, I got it. I got a couple hours. I mean, I went down to Philadelphia. I mean, obviously, I'm a big Eagles fan. There's a, a, a tremendous clip of Carson Wentz coming out of the big pile where people felt he was tackled. Uh, I, you, look, there's a long way to go here. Okay, it's six and one. There's a very long way to go, uh, but there are people who are uh, gamers on that team. Wentz is a gamer. Uh, Ertz is a gamer. Um, Aguilar surfacing. But this is Coach Peterson. This is Coach Peterson's team, and he's a man who under promises. I think he can over deliver. He's a man who takes no prisoners. Uh, Howie Roseman, a remarkable decision to to uh, trade up to get Wentz. Uh, Wentz is uh, there's a fabulous piece by Tom Rinaldi and ESPN about Wentz that everybody should read. Um, this is a very special team, a special team to me. I uh, got to address the team this summer, and we talked about keeping expectations low. I did not think that we'd be as good as we are. I uh, had some bad injuries last night, which the, uh, Jason Peters well, Jordan Hicks well. But I, I do think that uh, it's a special team run by special people, and Mr. Laurie is a fabulous owner. They are really taking your advice to heart, which is great yeah, to see. Yeah, I, I just, a long way to go. They got to get it done, but it's a long way to go. All it right. is still very early. We'll be watching them with you. Jim thank Kramer, you. thank you so much as always for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned. Please head to thestreet.com.